Hello, my name is Frederick and uh, my knees are not the same size anymore. That's because I went to hospital for four weeks with an infection in a wound. After that I ate 250 grams of antibiotics and finally I recovered, so I'm here today. Not all people are as fortunate as I am. So I want to present to you something new, a re revolutionizing device called WoundAway. It's for healing infected wounds faster and cheaper. There are many kinds of wounds and many people and many uh, patient groups that have wounds that are infected. If you look at diabetes, for instance, you have 360 million people worldwide right now. It's an increasing number. We're going towards 500 million in 10 years. A lot of them develop infected wounds and you can see the cost is huge. With our device, we can uh, decrease the risk of amputation, which is a very uh, real risk. We can uh, treat multi-resistant bacterial infections, something that you cannot always do today. We kill everything, every bacteria, regardless of type. We can decrease the healing time significantly, and that all leads to a patient being happier, and more well-being, and so on. I'd like to show how this amazing thing works. It's quite simple. Take, for instance, this wound. You apply our patch on top of that. It's adhesive, so you just put it on top. Then you inject a water and ozone mixture in the, uh, in the device. And that's a new part of the treating with ozone. You leave it for a specific uh, time, and then you take it away, and the, the whole thing can be disposed of in a secure and safe way without risk of contamination. So if we look at business, we can reduce hospitalization costs significantly, uh, something like one third. And that's, at the same time, we can charge a premium with our product compared to uh, conventional products. And um, the way we want to achieve this is by getting patent protection, as a design protection first. We will set up a technical feasibility study at Hilo Hospital one, we're so fortunate that one of the group members is a senior doctor at Hillowell, so we can uh, get in there quite easily, work with them to get a proof of concept. We'll then continue to work, uh, seek collaboration with the universities to set up preclinical trials, clinical trials, and uh, do the necessary things to get funding by uh, things like uh, the Nobel Foundation. We talked to several business analysts and people about how we could put this to market. And uh, there's one voice telling us that, uh, or all of them unanimously tell us that we can't do this on our own. We have to we'll team up to bring us this to market with the big players in medical care uh, that exist today. So we would uh, look at partnerships, that being selling off the patent or uh, royalty deal agreements with people like Johnson & Johnson, with Mönlöwe or similar uh, companies in order to put this product to, to the market. We are a strong team of several doctors. We're physicists, we're biochemists, we're the designer, business developers, so we have a background in med also medical devices. We're strong in a strong team and we are eager to develop this, take it to the next step. So Woundaway, it's a revolutionary new device for healing infected wounds faster and cheaper. So thank you. Studies, of course, to quantify things. 
also damage to uh, healthy tissue, stuff like that. But it works, and that's <coughs> sure with the literature there. If I may add uh, one thing, there was actually a randomized clinical trial, uh, a multi center study from, uh, from Finland and Israel that shows that uh, there is a significant uh, improvement in uh, patients with diabetic uh, ulcers uh, in the extremities. Uh, but they used a, a completely different solution technically, but uh, the ozone in itself showed, showed that it had a significant effect. If there's already been some clinical trials showing that it works, what is it you're going to patent? The design of the device. <coughs> and the way we can dispose of this in a safe way. It's, a, it's an easier treatment, so it's just, just it is a very, it's a safe way to do it, it's a secure, and it's a fast way to do it, uh, and it's easy. So that's the, the whole design of that. There's some specifics we haven't gone into the detail on how to apply it. The, the other device is kind of a big boot, and it has a huge machine, like a sort of a dishwashing style machine that you have to roll around. Something handmade at the hospital. And it's a, Technically, completely different. So. I think it's nice you made a prototype. Maybe you should hold it up so you can see yeah. yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it. Oh. So, this would be the arm or the limb of some person, and then you, the way you attach it, just put it on there. And uh, yeah, it's very big arm. <laughs> so you flush the system with this ozone filled water, you leave it there for the specific, uh, specified amount of time and they get, you can turn it upside down and suck out all the liquid to dispose of, shut that off and throw all of it away without needing to like uh, drain it again and carry that away. What's your evidence that it's safe, that the ozone doesn't damage the wounds? Uh, there is a sort of a, a previous studies that have been made show that there is a therapeutic incident in which the bacteria in germs will uh, die and the surrounding skin will, uh, will not die. Uh, but it's definitely uh, something that is to be clarified how long uh, the skin is to be exposed to the solution. <laughs>